Hi everybody. We can do a little math class, hybrid math class. Right. 25, 30 minutes. We'll see where it goes. So we're going to start a little wider stance. All good news classes. You should start with some squats, just some lunges. So I just want a deep breath in. Nice solid exhale. So warm up, little squat, cheer the boss. So start casual, sink in heel, stand exhale. Weight heels outside of my feet, right? Fully grounded through my feet, toes on the floor. Feel weight through the ball of my foot and the heel outside, but not collapsing the arch of my foot. Just turn sideways. So inhale would be the squat. I bring my arms, exhale. So inhale, sinking, exhale, standing. So nice, solid. Chin towards Adam and Eve's apple, we'll call it. Inhale, sit downers. Exhale, stoppers. Lengthening, I'm thinking about the tailbone reaching to the wall, where the wall and floor meet behind me, and the crown of my head reaching to the ceiling. Maybe on a diagonal as I sink. Two more. Inhale, smooth exhale. One more. Now I was into a couple of lunges. So I step left, forward, right behind. Nothing deep off to the beginning, okay? So I want to sink in the L, stand exhale. Open across the collarbones. Sinking, standing. So easy in the down, casual exhale up. Here's four-ish. We'll do two more and we're gonna cut it a little. One more. So in the L. So now I want you to sink in the L to the bottom, come halfway up, dip back down, and then lift all the way up. So we're gonna sink to the bottom, lift half, sink back to the bottom, and drive through that heel. My left foot's out front, so I'm driving through that left heel to the bottom. Little lift, back to the bottom, all the way to the top. So there's one more. So you're gonna sink to the bottom, little push, and then that drive all the way to the top. And then I'm gonna sink a little. I'm gonna take my tailbone, I'm gonna draw under. I'm just a short and sweet hip flexor stretch. My right leg's behind me, my right hand's gonna reach to the ceiling. I'm gonna side bend to the left. And if I have it, I have a little bit of a rotation, so I'm turning to you, and my right leg's away from you for three-ish. Two, oh, relax, and we're just gonna switch. So this ain't. So I got some wonky toes over here on my crocum here a bit ago. So I'm gonna show an option. So same lunge, you know, I'm gonna sink and note that I can't go that deep. Exhale a lift. So option, okay. Let's pull a chair out. And you can put that foot up on the chair. Okay? Sinking, standing. And I'm not taking any beating. I'm ball of my foot. So I'm gonna sink in here, stand, exhale. So casual down, leisure up. So two more. So now I'm gonna sink in here. I come a little up, go back down, I lift for one. Hold up, no falling over. So I'm gonna sink. I lift a little, I go back to the bottom, and I push to the top, that's two. Okay, two more. So you're gonna sink, little up, little down, and I lift, one more. Best for last, okay? So that sink, I lift, and then I push to the top, and I'm gonna have that little hip flexor stretch. So I scoop the tailbone, I've sunk however deep, my left hand goes up because my left leg's behind me. I want, I side bend to the right, so away from you. And I can rotate, holding. Four, three-ish. Two, and I sort of relax. So we're gonna plank here for a sec. You don't like planking on um, the floor? By all means, we could use this chair, okay? I can forearm plank on the floor. And I can hand plank on the floor. So you're the boss. You set up your plank, driving chest to the ceiling. Nice double double. Smooth. If you widen your stance, you want to make this a little harder, we can 
Lift the hand, touch the opposite shoulder and put it down. Exhale the same. Again, we could be planking from our knees and doing the same thing. So it's not quadruped, okay? That's coming up. So you choose your plank zone, whether it's on your toes, hands and knees, hands and toes, forearms and toes, forearms and knees. One more good exhale. And we're gonna relax. So now I'm gonna walk it into quadruped. So hands directly underneath my shoulders. Knees right underneath my hips. So I'm gonna start casual. I'm gonna give one cat for myself. Take a breath. Exhale, I'm gonna round from the bottom. Through to the top. I'll take a breath in down there. And then exhale, I'm gonna come out from the bottom. Through to the top. And I'm back in neutral, okay? So my neutral, setting my shoulders, pushing away from the floor. And then we're gonna do opposites. So left arm, right leg. So a nice cleansing inhale to set it. And then exhale, left arm goes forward, left arm, right leg goes back, reaching long, a little hold, hold. And I return for one. Cleansing inhale, other side, exhale. Holding, holding, and I return and that's two. So you drive that chest to ceiling. Exhales to go. So you're finding something on that floor to peruse a And I return, there's three. So exhales that go. Nice, inhales the return. You can go on to a fist if you want. Exhale, going, driving chest, setting chest. Inhales that return. Exhales to go. Smooth inhale. So your goal, and I'm not gonna do the arm here, but you're not rocking the hip. You're not sending yourself sideways as you reach back. Exhale, leisure inhale. Three more, exhale going. Right arm, left leg. Inhales that return. Exhale, left arm, right leg with a little hold, hold, and a return. Last one, exhale. Hold, hold. And I return, and then from here, just a short and sweet cat tail. Exhale to the top. Cruising my knees, take a breath in in here, and then exhale. We're gonna come back out, tail to top. Call this the crouching, crouching tiger. Watch that tiger show on Netflix right now. She's a little wacky. So I'm gonna brace. I'm gonna exhale, lift my knees. I'm gonna hold, hold, hold. I release. So you want to make this a little bit harder. We can walk the legs out, okay? So exhale, I'm going to brace set myself and lift. Keeping those hips out, walk leg, a leg, and then return, return without pushing the hips away up. And then we'll sit down. So you choose. We're going to do four more, okay? So exhale, step up, a little hover. Walk a leg, don't walk a leg. Return it, return it and then you get to release down. Okay, and there's one of the four. Exhale, we're gonna lift. Walk one back, walk the other back. If not, you're hanging out with me right here. Walk it in, walk it in, and then we release. Two more. So exhale, set the shoulders and lift. Walk a leg, walk a leg, walk it back, walk it back, and then down without letting the head fall. Okay, we're not letting the head fall. One more, one more, best for last. So exhale going, walk a leg if you want, walk a leg, return it, return it, and then we set. Tough to do that one on your forearms, but it is an option. So from here, I'm gonna bring you right down onto your stomach. And just a short version of the swan, okay? So my legs are long, and they're not active, okay? Trying to keep them on a little bit of a holiday. Nose points to the floor, hands even with my, we'll say nose. I take a breath in, just to set my stomach, exhale. So on my next inhale, imagine a little marble in front of my nose. I nudge it forward as I peel my breastbone up, assisting with my hands. Sternum stays on, okay, the bottom of my sternum is on the mat still. And then exhale, I release down. Smooth. Inhale, and then exhale. Two more, and we're gonna add the back end. 
So inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Just that gentle little bit of extension. Assisted extension for you out. And then that release. So keeping your hands here, okay? Upper body stay still. Oh yeah, exhale, squeeze your bottom, reach your legs on, give me a little lift, trying to drag your toes up the wall behind you, and then release. So on the exhale, okay? Exhale, we lift. Reach long. Inhale, release. Two more. Exhale, is that corset or reach long with those toes? Lengthening out of the hip, those legs. One more. Exhale, going. Inhale. So we're going to put it together. On an inhale, I'm going to come into my swan prep, we'll call it. I push it with my hand, chest to lift. As I exhale, I'm going to lower my upper body and the back end comes up. Inhale, chest goes up, legs go down. And then exhale, we come back. Leg drop, chest is down. Three more. You don't like it, back doesn't like it, get rid of the legs. Get rid of one end, you choose. Exhale. So I'm never seeing what's in front of me. Inhale, so chest up and the legs down. Exhale, chest down, legs up. Almost like a rocking chair, one more. Inhale. And then exhale. And then from here, you want a shell stretch? Sit back and give you back a little relaxation festival right here. You're free to, okay? I'm gonna lie you on your side. Just gonna do a little side leg work. So again, I'm looking long here at the uh, down off to the left. your right side, but left side of my camera over here. Okay, long straight line, hips are stacked. I can hold a latte here. If there's any latte shops open right now. So on an exhale, I want you to lift that top leg, reaching, I want you to think about the heel reaching long away from you, inhale back down, exhale. So casual start, take away, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, smooth. Three more, exhale, is that lift, inhale, sit down, two more. Sort of the last, best for last. Exhale. And now I'm gonna get you to do both legs. So bottom and top together. Exhale, gonna lift. And I'm not death gripping the mat here with this top hand. I'm using it to balance, okay? But I'm not pushing hard on the mat. Exhale, gonna lift. Inhale. So we got inner and outer thigh working. We have some obliques, okay? Some of the back, your QL. Exhale, multipitous, but working in general, okay, smooth, and I'm not saying this is a big lift, you have two more, exhale, that lift, core sitting, leisure, and you know, one more, we're going to leave the legs alone for a sec, I'm going to reach this bottom arm out, and I'm going to assist myself up, exhale, and then inhale back down, exhale, lift, inhale, so I am using this bottom arm right now, and release. Exhale, get to go. So when we stop using the bottom arm, by no means is it as big as what we're doing right now, but I'm thinking about lengthening out, okay? I'm not taking my ear to my shoulder here on the top side. One more for good luck. So exhales to go. Leisure release. So now if you want the next level, you're gonna cradle your head so the bottom arm bends, I'm missing the seashells on the seashore here, bottom side. On an X, I'm gonna lift legs, and I'm gonna try and lift this bottom arm off, keeping my ear on my bicep. Again, hand here for balance, so I'm not pushing hard on the floor. Note that I'm not lifting, this is in the gargantuan lift. X, I'm gonna lift, and I pick something off to the left side of me. Exhale, lift, inhale, release. So that's three. So maybe you're just doing the legs again. You want to do the whole thing. Hands here for assistance. Came okay, from a balance. Don't give me a big. Here's me pushing hard with my hand. Okay. So no pushing hard with that hand on the 
on the mat, on the bed. One more. So our switch to the other side. I'm going to roll you on your stomach for a sec. I need a plank. So we'll do the other side in two secs. Kind of plank. You want to give me hand plank, forearm plank. You choose the crouching tiger plank. So exhale, I want you to plank, however you want. You can walk it up and down if you want. You choose, all right? Pick your voice and give me knees. So you walk knees up and down. <sighs> Whatever makes you happy. However you want to plank, move it, don't move it. Holding, but regardless, you set the shoulders, drive the back of the head to the ceiling, and we're gonna hold. <sighs> Breathing. So weight, I want you to think about putting weight through the ends of the fingers here if you're on the on your hands, you're not just pushing through the heel of your hand. <sighs> Smooth, setting the shoulders, driving the hips to the ceiling, that long line. So four, three-ish, two, one more. I you guys to relax. So let's swiggle to the other side. So sideline, make it long here, setting it up. Both feet flex and we'll just do the top leg. So exhale, we lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. And again, no death grip being here with that hand, my top hand, okay? So smooth exhale, I'm lifting my left leg, whatever leg that is for you, but the top one. So three more, exhale, two more, sort of the last, and that hollowing out, drawing the belly button spine. So now with both feet flex, lift both legs, exhale to lift, and again, it's not a big move. Inhale down, exhale lift, inhale down. So inner and outer thighs working, Again, my obliques, some of my back muscles. You drawing that stomach in, exhale. Two more. Exhale's to go, Joe. One more. Go and exhale. So now we're gonna give your legs a little break. Bottom arm, I turn my palm into my floor, and I'm gonna assist myself up, and a little resist. So exhale, and again, this hand here, the front one, is there strictly for balance. So I'm activating some black here to help myself, but I'm feeling the work through my obliques. Exhale, I'm connecting here. And again, I'm long wrinkle free in my neck. Two more. One-ish. Now, I'm gonna cradle my head and this side, you're gonna see the difference for me. Again, my vision's down now, the right side, the left side of the camera, left side of you, okay? So down the side, so on an exhale, maybe we lift both, and there's the difference. Smooth. Hand, okay? It's not giving it balance, that's it. There's my obliques firing away, working vigilantly, exhale. Leash your ear, listening to seashells on the seashore. Two more. Exhale. Try not to shrug up over here with my shoulder on the top side. Maybe one more. One more for good luck. Exhale, exhale. Leisure. You guys get the track. So I'll roll you on your back. I'll roll you in the little ball for two sacks. So from here, we're going to call this my version a double leg stretch, the scoop, okay? Now, you don't want to curl up. You're free. Look, I brought my bear. I'm going to put it for a pillow. Hmm? Give me a little head support, just because I have my head sits so far forward. I'm going to imprint. Maybe you're doing this in neutral. Again, curling is by all means your choice. Okay, when we go through this. So I'm going to curl up to start, and then I'm going to put my head down and carry on with the But here's me, hands on my shins, taking a breath, my double leg stretch. So exhale, legs go out. Arms go behind, and then inhales out, return. You're the boss, how low? Shh. Leaves your inhale, return. Exhale. Inhale, return. I got three in. Exhale, might have been four.
four. So again, here's me without my head up. Lower the go. I go with my legs. The harder it is to keep my back position. You're the boss. Exhale's the go. Inhale, return. Let's go six from here. Exhale. Inhale. Four more. With me curled up, my vision's forward. I'm not staring at the ceiling. Exhale. Leisure inhale. Two more. One more. Best for last. Mustard toss. Hands a little rest and relaxation from here. I'm going to keep my pillow. So I'm going to do a little bit of dead bug since I'm here. And then we're going to go and do some bridging. And I will get rid of my pillow for the bridging. So I'm going to renew an imprint for myself after my break. Hands go right up. Straight to the ceiling. On an exhale, I'm going to go right arm backwards. The left leg dips forward. Bent or straight leg. You choose. So exhale. Here we go. Inhale. So return. Exhale. So left arm, right leg. Inhale, that return. So no distension in that stomach. And I'm not saying you touch the floor. You want to make it harder, you straighten the leg, right? But your goal is to maintain that back. No back pain, some hip flexor discomfort, leg discomfort maybe, some stomach discomfort. Exhale. Leisure inhale. Exhale. One more each side. Exhale to go, Joe. Inhale. One more. And I'm going to take an R&R &R festival right here. My feet are going to go to the floor. Talked about this in the other video. You want to make this harder. Okay. You put a roller or a ball underneath your feet for your hip curl. You're bridging. Heels line up with my sit bones. Imagine I have something between my knees. I'm not letting my knees fall apart. I take a breath in. Prepare. Exhale. I'm going to roll up my spine. So imprint. Peeling up, 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 up. My kneecaps reaching across the room. I'll take a breath in. And then exhale, I'm going to lower upper back. Through lower back. Releasing and opening up. Cleansing in the out. Two more. Exhale, let it roll through that spine. So imprinting and then peeling my spine up. I'll take a breath, not letting my knees fall out. Exhale, I'm going to roll down. One more. Leisure in here. Exhale. Let it peel up that spine. One leg at a time of a chain. Pearl necklace. Whatever works for you. Okay? Cleansing in here. No knees falling apart. Exhale. Let it peel down. Now I'm going to walk my feet out a little bit away from me. Okay? From my bum. Not wider. Okay? Same hip width stance. I'm going to lift one leg to the tabletop. I'm going to peel up the other. Cleansing in the out, exhale, rolling, imprint, lifting up. I got to hold, free leg goes to the ceiling, okay, I'm reaching up to the ceiling, whatever straight is for you, give me a circle up here with this leg, one, two, three, reverse that, go that way, one more, I'm going to bend at the tabletop, keeping it up. Exhale, I roll down that other leg. So now, same but different. So I'm going to put my foot down. Ideally, same sort of location, but in line with that bum cheek. I tabletop the other leg. Exhale, I peel up here. Hang it out. I'm going to reach that leg to ceiling. So straight, whatever straight is for you. Try and find your hamstring. Give me a circle here. So you make it as big as you want, as long as your hips are not falling around in that stabilizing leg. Reverse it. I bend it, keep it up, and then peely rolling down without letting my knee fall out to you. And then both go down. I'm going to walk them in towards me as close as you can touch your bum. Maybe not that close. Well, I can't touch my bum. I want you to go up on the ball of your foot for me. Okay? So... Try and feel this out. Weight's even across the ball of the foot. Exhale, I want you to peel up. So we're at the top. I'm ready to hang out here. We're going to rock through your foot. So I want you to put the heels down. Lift the ball of the foot now. And then go the other way. Calf raise. 
shins, capper, and don't let the feet walk away, keep walking them back, heels digging in, toes are up, toes go down, heels up, give me that draw back and forth, rocking horse, right here, hips are still, so a little anti-shin slit muscles we'll call them, okay, three more, two-ish, one more, and as we start, or we end up, we started, so heels are up, and I want to peel down, exhale. We take a little break, not really, so I want you to come back to tabletop, imprint it first, and then we'll tabletop, and you're more than welcome to do this uh, neutral. I'm going to bring back my pillow, because the pillow is optional, okay, if you don't want to curl up. We're going to do single leg stretch. I'm going to start curled, but you don't have to do it curled by any means. So I'm going to curl up. I'm going to take my left hand on my shin of my, or sorry, my left hand goes to my right knee, right hand goes to my shin. I'm going to, so you can do this a couple of different ways. We can reach mix wiggle here. So, okay, like a bicycle, or we can go straight leg. You choose, okay? You're the boss. Three more, and then we switch the breath. So I'm exhaling right now on my left leg. I'm gonna switch this up. So I'm gonna hold right here. On an exhale on my right leg, inhale, switch. Two more. Last one. And we get to rest and chillax. So like, from here, I'm going to roll you. We'll get rid of the little pillow onto your stomach. Now we're moving into some swimming. So, I'm not reaching way out with my arms. They're just past my head. My forearm, middle of my forearm is about even with my ears, okay? We're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg, a little chest lift. Nothing major here. On an inhale, I'm going to say left arm, right leg, and chest. Inhale will come up. Exhale. Back down, other side. Right arm, left leg. Smooth. Inhale. Exhale, step, release. Easy. Inhale, step, first. Exhale, step, down. Four more. So slow swimming right here. And this is nothing to do with lifting high or looking at the wall in front of you. My nose the entire time is pointed at the mat. And I got a big nose. So the nose is looking at the mat the whole time. Last one. You want to stay with that? You're free to stay with that tempo. Otherwise, we hover both arms, both legs, chest up. And you give me a little paddle up and down. Opposites. Breathing. Upper body still, just the arms, the appendage is moving. Two more inhale, exhale. One more. And we have to relax. I'm going to get a shell stretch out of you. So I'm going to push you back onto your heels and bums together, chums. Relaxing. Now we're going to go short into the saw. So I need to sit on something for the saw. This, my little stuffy bear is not even close to being enough, but it's going to be for right now, okay? We're imagining that I'm up a little bit. I'm going to take my legs apart, uber tall here. I'm going to tee up my arms, so as upright as we can be. I should really be sitting on that chair almost. On an inhale, I'm going to rotate to you. So that's my right hand coming back here. And then exhale, I'm going to curl through my spine and curl reaching my left little pinky towards my right little toe and then inhale stack back up and return to the center feet are flex exhale other side and curling down inhale exhale so i'm going to return to center so rotate breath in and then curl down leisure inhale and then exhale return you know i'm going to rotate exhale i'm going to curl down so my hand behind me is thumb towards the floor. My hand in front of me is pinky reaching the little toe. Inhale. 
Exhale, center. One more time each side. Leisure inhale. Exhale, return. Last one here. Smooth inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. And return. And chillax. I'm going to bring my legs together forward. I'm going to give me a spine stretch forward. I'm going to round forward. So exhale, I'm going to curl through, rounding through my spine, working my way down. I'm not flexible enough to reach to my feet. So I'm not saying reach your feet, set the shoulders, curl yourself into this, and build tail to top all the way up. So we're going to do one more rounding. Okay, last round of Rudolph's. So exhale. Nothing wrong with straight hinge either, right? Hinge forward and then hinge back, but nothing speedy, and then build back up. So let's bend the knees a little bit. Tall, hands across collarbones. We'll do a couple just straight back hinges. Exhale, I want you to hinge back, bracing. Next exhale, ice it up. Cleansing inhale, exhale. So we have any issues back-wise, exhale. You have to find what's comfortable. Maybe you scoop your tailbone a little bit and hinge and then come back, okay? So you find that comfort zone. So any back issues, we're sticking with that one right here. We're gonna add a little round back with a twist. So on an exhale, I'm gonna scoop my tailbone, I'm gonna to rotate towards you, the camera, I'm gonna reach back with my front hand, and then inhale, I'm gonna come up. Now the other side, so exhale, inhale. One more each side. Exhale, and there's nothing wrong with continuing to straight back, right? Last one. Leisure inhale. Now I'm gonna drag both feet together. Right? I'm gonna pull them in as close as I'm comfortable getting them to my bum's chums. Sitting uber tall, that's me tall. Maybe I can push down with my trusty old uh, Elbows on my legs, I draw myself forward to find maybe an inner thigh stretch, but this is not it. There's not the posture. So tall spine, drawing forward. <sighs> drawing in, can you see my Lego? Holding, well it's not my Lego actually. But it's sorta, you can pay for Tristan's education. Three, two-ish, one-ish. I'm gonna relax. So I'm finishing sort of a half lunch. I need, I'm gonna use my little fomaloma here. One leg behind, whatever, okay? So it's my left leg behind. I'm on my knee. I want you to shift the weight. So I'm not moving. I start with my knee a little bit behind my foot. I'm shifting my hips forward. I'm gonna try and find a little hip flexor stretch right here. Tall and proud. Some seated work, we did some hip flexor work. So now it's my left leg, my left hand will go up. And I side bend away from you. I'm reaching over to the right side, holding. Three, two, one more. And then from here, I'm just gonna push backwards. I flex that foot out front now, straighten my right leg. And I'm gonna hinge, give me a waiter's bow right here. So long, flat back. And if I was, you know, ballerina-esque, I would be able to go a lot farther, but it's not about me touching my toes with my hands, right? It's about me getting my chest out past my toes, reaching past my toes. And then all I'm gonna do is switch sides. So the same, but different. So I'm gonna find that hip flexor stretch first. So I let my hips shift, weight forward. This knee's fairly still, right? I'm letting my hips come forward. It's my right leg behind me. Right leg goes up to the, or right hand goes up the ceiling. And then I'm gonna side bend towards you now. Holding. One more nice inhale. Solid exhale. Release that hip flexor, and then we draw back, and I flex my, straight my left leg, flex my foot on my left, and I hinge at my hips forward, 
a long pop back to find a little bit of hamstrings. Two more, good inhale, exhale. And again, open collarbones, not letting the head, the chin jut forward, right? Gently drawing chin towards the throat. And from here, I'm gonna walk you into grounded feet. You're in a nice cat right here. Take a breath in, looking at your trusty old thighs. And then exhale, I want you to slowly build all the way up. Go back to stand and chillax, and you can hit it again if you want to do. So there's a little high bread mat class, a little bit longer than last time. Let me know. Hope everything's going well with you. Do a little each day, whether it's this walking, good for the mind during this time. Okay, ciao.